Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. I am here at the University of Dubuque Babka Flight Center. We're going to learn about Iowa's only four-year aviation program and maybe go up in one of these things. But first, we're going to head inside and talk to some students and instructors and learn more about the aviation department. I'm here with Lynn Pease, an associate professor here at the University of Dubuque Aviation Program. Hi, Lynn. Hi. Before, before we start talking about the program, let's talk about the aviation industry. The industry is very strong right now. It's probably the best hiring opportunities we've seen in 40 years, I would know, because that's about how long I've been doing it. <laughs> so all of these graduates have great opportunities, and we're just here to help them get there. And how long has this program been around? Uh, we formed in 1974, so our first graduates would have been 79-ish. Uh, I graduated in 81, so I've kind of been here from the beginning. Wow, so, yes. Yeah, nice. And today, how many students do you have? I think we're projected to close to 425 in the fall, if you count freshmen all the way through seniors. So. And, and what does a student need to do to graduate this program? We've got a pretty long list of requirements, and those are actually set by the FAA. Um, we work with the FAA to get our program certified. So in addition to all of the flying things that they would do, we cover things like aerodynamics, that's what I teach, aviation law, transportation, human factors, safety and ethics, mm -hmm. all sorts of things that make you a well-rounded pilot. And, and when you are talking to a potential student, a prospective student, what do you tell them makes UD different? Some of the things that we have going for us is we're a small community, so our faculty to student ratio is nice. Um, it's a nice, safe Midwest school with a pretty good financial backing. Um, we have weather here that some people don't get to see. Mm -hmm. and that's a good thing. It's a good they experience. Need, that's right. They need to experience some weather. Um, we also let our freshmen fly from day one. So there's no wondering. delay. <laughs> they start here, and that's one of our biggest drawing points, is mm -hmm. they can just start flying. They learn early whether this is for them or not. Because some people change their mind. And you also, this is a four-year program. Correct. And what do you say if somebody says, okay, I could get my private pilot's license versus coming here for a four-year program? We actually encourage them to get the first step, which is a private pilot's license, before they get here, if they can. Mm -hmm. it, they don't have to, but that helps. It gives them a little bit of a head start. And then we just build on that instrument, commercial, multi-engine, flight instructor, all of the different steps after that. And that takes a while. Well, thanks, Lynn. And now we're going to talk to a couple of your former students. Oh, great. I think you'll enjoy that. Thank <laughs> you very much. Now I'm here with Keegan Zimmerman and Kate Hanley, who are both certified flight instructors and graduates of the University of Dubuque's aviation program. Hi. Hi there. Thanks Hi. for having me here. <laughs> so what made you choose this school? Yeah, so I chose University of Dubuque. Uh, being a student athlete, it was a great opportunity for me to uh, still play the sport I love in basketball and uh, be able to pursue my passion in aviation. So it was really a good, a uh, little bit of the best of both worlds. Huh. Kate? Oh, so I'm from Dubuque, so I'd heard a lot of really good things about the school. I heard it was very reputable, so it just seemed like a no-brainer. I didn't even look anywhere else. I was just like... Here's my application, please take me. And you've graduated <laughs> and now you're an instructor, so you really yeah. like, must like it here a lot. Yeah. What is a typical day like for a student that comes to the aviation program? Yeah, so for a student uh, who's just doing aviation, uh, your day is gonna be filled with a lot of aviation, obviously. Uh, so your coursework, your classes are all gonna be, uh, a lot of them are gonna be aviation-based. <clears throat> you're also gonna have your, your gen eds uh, you know, throughout, throughout your uh, career here as well. Um, along with that, you're going to be flying. So, you know, the best experience in aviation is actually getting out and doing the real thing. So, uh, we're lucky enough to get three days a week at least uh, with the, like a flight block. So, you'll have a, a scheduled time set aside that you'll be able to go and fly with your instructor and learn that way as well. Yeah. And now, as an instructor, what does your day look like? Um, so we'll have two shifts, so we'll have the day shift and the night shift, so usually if you're on days, you'll be showing up here around like 6, 6.30, you'll be working till around 2, and then uh, from there, if you do work the nights, you'll be here from around 2 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, usually you'll have about four students a day, that'll be kind of the standard if you're a full-time instructor, usually those walks are going to be an hour and 45 minutes, so you'll be seeing four students every day from Monday through Saturday. So you have a lot of interaction, <laughs> yes. with, so, and you have a lot of resources here too at this school. Can you tell me plans after? 
Yeah, so uh, most of us probably come for, you know, looking to do either airline or corporate flying, so, you know, flying big jets someday. Uh, personally, I'm hoping to go to the airlines eventually mm -hmm. you know, when I want to get there, so, yeah. I'm with you. I'm also thinking airlines as well, so I'm going to start sending out my um, application. I'm thinking regionals for now, but again, the world of aviation in general has a lot of avenues you can pursue, so... Um, you could do uh, airlines if that's what you want to be. You can also do a uh, corporate charter. So Yeah, there's lots. Yeah. And I think one of you might be taking me out up there in a minute. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, Keegan, Kate, thanks for having me here today. And thanks to the Vabka Flight Center for having us out. And thanks again to Katie for taking our producer Ron and I up. If you're interested in a flight training at UD, you may be wondering what they have for aircraft. They have total 29 aircrafts, 24 Cessna, single engine, three Pipers, two twin. Is that so it's a Piper Twin. Oh, a Piper Twin. And then two twin, helicopters. Two helicopters. And then simulators. And multiple simulators for all courses of training, including an advanced jet system trainer. There are other degree paths as well. If someone wants to work in the aviation industry, you can see more about the program on their website, www.dbq.edu. And yeah, we went up and we circled around. Uh, Here's the all important part right yes, here. How did we this land go? Great. She, she did a, she was great. I was a little go. queasy. I was surprised how many people have pools in their backyard over there. Mm. There's tons of swimming pools, but yeah, it was fun. I, cool. I always told myself <laughs> I would never go up in a small plane. I was just scared of it, but it really was fine. Nothing to be scared of. Yeah. yeah. I said they should have come to... Well, true. <laughs> get, over, no, yeah. get, over that, that, get over that hump. It takes a lot. Yeah. Um, it was fun. Well, let's, let's take to the sky in a different way. And by that, we mean captain slash meteorologist. Corey Thompson. Uh, it was a warm start today. Mm -hmm.